Welcome to part three in the online training series about drinking water safety in schools. EPA's three T's guidance includes several general tips for schools to reduce exposure from lead, including only using water from the cold tap for drinking and cooking, cleaning tap aerators following best practices, and flushing all taps regularly to ensure water is regularly moving. This will improve overall water quality. The EPA has guidance for developing a flushing plan. The flushing time can vary by outlet type. The full 3Ts toolkit is available on the EPA website. Additionally, the National Drinking Water Alliance has a helpful one-page document that explains the importance of testing water in schools and outlines some of the key steps. This is a great communication piece that can be used to build support for water testing. In addition to implementing EPA's 3Ts guidance, schools can consider ways to keep water systems clean and safe when reopening after prolonged facility shutdowns, including school closures related to the COVID-19 pandemic. CDC has developed considerations to help schools safely reopen facilities, help protect students, teachers, administrators, and staff, and slow the spread of COVID-19. Additionally, CDC created the K-12 Readiness and Planning Tool, which can be used to identify any gaps and address and monitor those gaps. These resources provide information on keeping water systems safe, including how to reduce the risk of lead exposure and Legionnaires disease when reopening after a prolonged facility shutdown. This slide includes the links for EPA's 3Ts toolkit, the water safety fact sheet from the National Drinking Water Alliance, and resources from CDC, including considerations for schools on how to slow the spread of COVID-19 and how to maintain healthy water systems after prolonged building shutdowns. Thank you for completing this learning module. Please continue to module three, which will address key steps schools can take to build effective access for drinking water.